Hello and welcome to the Non-Stop Wrestling Chat. My name is Barry and today it's your Monday Night Raw, March 22nd, 1993, Watch Along. We're joined with the Macho Man Randy Savage shirt and as always, I've just recorded Nitro before this and now we're recording Monday Night Raw because Nitro is a little bit better and my eyes have just went bloody again. Ah. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're just at the start, we've got Macho Man, Vince... <coughs> uh, so we're going to skip to 1 minute 08, uh, we're at 1 minute 10, 11, 12, 1 minute, four, 1 minute 15 for Damien Demento and the Repo Man versus the Bushwhackers. We're back in the cool little arena, so uh, no, we're not for the hour. Looked exactly like the cool, are we? I think we are. <laughs> I'm buzzing to get to the points when like we get the ECW guys coming on and stuff like that. Sorry guys, still just sending a few emails. Bushwhackers are up in the, the crowd. They're going around kissing people. <laughs> Imagine you done that now, you're fucking sexual assault. And there's that big fat woman in the middle of the ring. <laughs> We're doing the wee, the wee card sign thing. I think we're back in that arena, but it's just a different, like, angle, camera angle. Right, they're still making, the bushwhackers are still making their way to the ring. Any time of day, lads, you know what I mean? We've <laughs> got TV to make. <laughs> What have we got coming up today's show anyway, guys? Um, Tanker, well, obviously Damien Demento versus, and Repo Man versus uh, the Bushwhackers. Then we've got the Tanker versus Reno Riggs. Money Inc. versus Scott Rich and Jeff Armstrong. Don the King versus Kamala. That's it. We're going to have something a bit better than that. Guys, if you hear clicking and stuff like that, I'm literally just doing some work to... <laughs> need to get that... That work in before the end of the year. Because I'm on holiday for Monday. I'll only be doing these recordings pretty much. Um, I've got a few bits of work that I need to catch up on over that time, but uh, yeah, I'm pretty much on holiday, so I'm excited. Like, unbelievably excited to get some time off in 2020. <laughs> and the worst thing is, as we'll see next year, I've got so many, like, fitness challenge stuff that I have to complete. I'm pretty much going to be um, full-on busy <laughs> so it's, this is like two weeks off and I'm not going to have another two weeks off till uh, I've got a long weekend in June so it's like six months seven months away this looks pretty cool I always, I, I never, let's like say, I was too young when this was on, like I was what, two? I was one? I wasn't even watching this that much really. It's 
this match is pretty shit, guys. It's literally just showboating into it, like, they're over. Good guys, bad guys. Good guys are over, so they'll do showboating. They're, they're full-scale showboating. The ref's not even counting anybody out. I think the match has started yet. <laughs> What are you guys talking about tag team wrestling because it's on the TV there? What are your guys' thoughts on what um, Bret Hart says about the Vince McMahon single handedly killed tag team wrestling? I feel it's that's a wee bit dramatic. <laughs> no, nothing against Bret Hart, right? But I feel it's a wee bit dramatic. I don't think it's true. But see, when you when you think about it. He kind of did. <laughs> he made tag team wrestling less and less relevant as time went on. And, uh, yeah, I feel it's a little bit of a, a hard pill to swallow. But um, it looks like it could be true. Also, guys, I'm, I'm really nervous that I might be starting a new career, like a totally new career because of coronavirus, COVID-19, all that kind of stuff. What I do now isn't it viable going... It's viable, like, it take, it'll take a little bit of time going forward. But what I do just now might not be suitable in the future. So, uh it's, uh, I might be starting a new career, which um, I'm kind of like, what do I do? <laughs> I'm really nervous about the fact that I could be starting a new career next year. It just depends if this, what I'm doing just now picks up. Um, no, no this, this, I'll still be doing this wrestling channel no matter what, but um, yeah, I'm quite nervous about a new career starting. Guys, this match is fucking shit. <clears throat> Do you know a lot of people are saying like, will wrestling ever go back to the the way it was in the nineties? No, there is a chance wrestling will go back to the way it was in the nineties. Like it will be a must watch thing. But what they need to do is bring Kefi back. Keep it, keep it real. Let people know, like, this is going to be real, you know what I mean? Especially, I get that, I get that people have family life and stuff like that and they want to, they want to share it on social media. Have a private social, do you know what I mean? Have a private social and then have your business social. That's what you would need, I think needs to be done. But, um... Yeah, I just, I don't, I'm not a big fan of the way things are just now, and it needs to be, ah, there's the Bushwhackers picked up the win as we expected to happen, that was really shit, that, I was never a big fan of the Bushwhackers, oh Jesus, just, I, <laughs> I had, uh, my YouTube was up, and I was uploading a video and it's just automatically started playing. <laughs> so annoying. So annoying, guys. See, the other day, I have this little speaker thing, right? And uh, I was uploading a video and it automatically started playing. And but I was connected to my speaker, so I was listening to some music. And then I started talk. It started. It was like, "Hello," and I shot myself. I was like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> then we got to tag her against Jobby McJonaldsons. Let me see. What was his name again? S Reno Rig Reno Riggins Reno Riggins. 
Well, they got Roman Reigns' name for <laughs> Renal Riggins coming to the ring today. Oh. And then we're buffering on the fucking... The ro- the WWE app just now, see, sometimes it is so shit. Like, it buffers. Then you need to deal with these goddamn ads when you try to get it to unbuffer. Right, guys, only got a couple of seconds for this ad to finish, and then hopefully it stopped buffering. Yeah, stop buffering. What a, uh, that Reno Riggins tights need fixed. Jesus. <laughs> We're at uh, 10.48, 10.49, 10.50. Oh, so I got a couple of emails coming through there. Struggling dealing with uh, end of year reviews and emails and like I say, maybe a new career decision. So it's just one of those, one of those years. But I'm excited for the future, which in 2020 is all you can really ask for, isn't it? Look forward to next year. Hopefully, we get out of this pandemic alive. <laughs> Do you know, I didn't realise how many jobbers they used to use in the early days of WWE. It really was like, a, like a lot of them. See the questions people ask you, like, the, the customers ask me the silliest questions like do you know there was this customer that was asking me so the stuff that I do they were like can you tell a story with it do you know what I mean like what the, what do you want you know what I mean like <laughs> so annoying Anchor's running around, coming back, and you know he's going to get the win over this out of shape guy. Tanker picked up the win as we all expected. <sighs> now I've got Andre Giant joining the WWE Hall of Fame. I'm going to just go to Money Inc. versus Scott Rich. Jeff Armstrong, which is at 1741. 42. Oh, nice bum. Terrible face, but nice ass on that one. <laughs> uh, we're at 17. I'll tell you when we're at 18 minutes exactly. 56, 57, 58, 59. 18 minutes exactly. And 
and I know this is just going to be two jobbers again into it. Right, just jobs. Jobby bit jobless since. <laughs> like the the we've had what the bushwhackers, Damien Demento and Repo Man, Tatanka versus a jobber. Now we've got Money Inc versus Scott Rich and Jeff Armstrong, which is two pretty much jobbers against these guys and then we've got Don the Clown versus Kamala which is the main that's it that takes us to like 25 minutes and then we've got a, a whole lot, like 10 minutes left of the Rob Ball Ballet fan club is introduced and it's like fat woman do you mean like what the what the hell then we've got him that Rob Ballet watching TV switching the channel watching TV that's what I feel like doing honestly this, see when you watch WCW 95 which isn't even the, the peak point of WCW yet but there was so much better stuff happening on there than what's happening here By the way guys, I told on the WCW one which is up tomorrow, I am recording this at like 4am in the morning. Um, so, I'm trying to keep the noise down for the family stuff but they're, they're sound asleep, there's no, uh, there's no way they can hear me. <laughs> I used to pick my daughter up from nursery, right? So she used to start at half eight and finish it, like, just after 11. But now she starts at 8.40 and finishes at 12 because you kind of do a whole day for some reason because of coronavirus. Um, so when I go, I always get to this point of the day when it's like, like, later on in the day I'll get there, right? And I'm like, oh, is it time to go get them yet? And stuff like that, which is... So annoying. Now I get to this point in the day, like first thing in the morning, when I'm waiting for them to get up so I can take them to to nursing and stuff. I'm like, what the, what's going what's happening? <laughs> what time do we start? We're there at half eight, eight, fucking, I look like a fork out there by a fucking Alfonso. Yeah, as expected, Money Inc. picked up the win. I'm just going to skip to Doink the Cow, so it's 25.43. 25, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 25, 50 on the button. Don't the count versus Kamala. And I'm not expecting a lot from this, guys. I really am. You know, this is... Yeah, I'm not expecting a lot from this at all. Two guys that just won my, my cup of tea. Maybe Kamala was... I would watch him a little bit more. Um, later on, when I was a little bit older than this year, younger now, <laughs> uh, but no, no my cup of tea. Do you know as well, do you know what it feels like? It just feels like they're just putting stuff on for the sake of it at the minute, like all these characters and stuff. <coughs> And you get that with today's, right? Like, in Raw and WWE and SmackDown just now, it feels like they're just putting on shows for the sake of it. Do you know what I mean?
got drunk Scott Kamala and an arm hold, do you know what I mean? Like, headlock arm hold thing, like, what the f- I was having a good conversation the other day when it, people were talking about um, how wrestling's became too, like, much flippy stuff in that, and they're not protecting, like, big moves, like, they're not protecting, like, a... A super kick or a stunner, stuff like that. It's just used in the f- in the free of stuff, like a DDT and shit. I always remember back when they started using the Tombstone pile driver on WCW. It's just a move. They used to use it, and I used to always think, "Why are these guys using Undertaker's finishing move for?" Um, and then I remember Hurricane, I think it was, used it. And I was always so confused. I was like, why is he using this? Like, it, it makes no sense why he's using this. <laughs> For questioning wrestling when I was like fucking 10. Guys, I'm sorry for how bad this match is. I don't know what I'm apologising for. Um, we need to go through the terrible times to get to the good. Eh? <laughs> what I've just realised, I've got a show every single day. There's like no day that I don't have a show. Literally seven days a week. Sunday, Monday, in the wrestling shows, and then I top ten. Aye, seven days a week. Yeah. Oh well. <laughs> I've got a few cool things coming up this week, so I'm going to be doing a Christmas special, um, where I'm going to talk about. Do a fucking present gimmick here, man. Oh. I'm going to be doing a Christmas special where I'm going to be talking about my favourite moments in wrestling, history, past, what I'm going to expect for the future, that kind of stuff. It's just going to be a fun Christmas special. But then the week after, when it's New Year, on New Year's Day, you guys will be getting a, my top moments of 2020. So the first day of 2021, you'll get all my top moments of 2020. So what I thought about it, what I thought about the Thunderdome, what I thought about fucking AEW, NXT, everybody. I'm just going to do like a big review on it. Uh, so I hope you enjoy that. But um, Christmas Day, there'll be a video up and it'll just be me rambling on a load of poo pretty much. <laughs> this, is sh- this is fucking bad, man. Kamala's under the ring hitting the thing. Dunk's still waiting. You can clearly see. She's sneaking up behind Dunk. That was pretty funny, but. <laughs> He's just Dunk's running away. Somebody's just knocked Dunk's wig off. Somebody just smacked on swig off there. <laughs> that was shit. Yeah, that was shit. Right, the only thing we've got coming up after this is 
the Rob Barlett fan club is introducing, like I say, it's just like a bunch of fat, older looking women. <laughs> yeah, so we're just going to leave it at that. I, I didn't really enjoy that that much, guys. Um, yeah, it wasn't something that I enjoyed. Next week's one is April the 5th, 1993. We've got Virgil versus Bam Bam Bigelow. Jerry Lawler refuses to compete. <coughs> Mr. Fuji. Yokozuna protests the WrestleMania. Um, Kim Chi versus Bob Backlund. <laughs> um, Jim Brunzel versus Damien Demento. Beverly, Bro- Bre- Beverly Brothers versus Steiner Brothers. The King versus Jim Powers. And uh, Laura, Jerry Laura confronts Macho Man. That's what we've got next week. Again, a load of jobbers it looks like. I really don't know why they use so many jobbers in this this time. But um, I, I hope you enjoyed that, guys. Like I say, I'm so that role this wasn't really that enjoyable for me. Um, but we need to stick with the good and the bad times. That's what we're wrestling fans for. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, guys. And uh, I'll see you here. In fact, I'll see you here tomorrow for the WCW Nitro 1995 review and also for TLC, which I'm excited for. Just remember, that's tonight. See you later, guys.